I know people who are Greek who are miserable being Greeks. If you can't deal with it, you will go crazy. Always be real to yourself. When you're real to yourself, you can be real with others. And that's why I'm so real with y'all all the time. Because I'm always real with myself. I don't be getting dressed for these videos. I ain't even gonna lie. I try to look decent from this point down. But since I got on the little crop top thing going on, you can kind of see my sweatpants. So I'm real comfy right now. And let me see how many reasons I got here five reasons so let's just get into it reason number one you have low self-esteem Woo! I'm telling y'all right now the reason why I say that is because these are the worst Greeks the people with the low self-esteem that come in and now all of a sudden they get all this attention and stuff like that they be the worst kind of Greeks they go freaking crazy Think of the most obnoxious person. That's a Greek that had low self-esteem that went Greek, okay? They're, they're gonna come out and they're gonna think they're so special now. They're gonna treat people however they want. They're gonna be nasty. They're gonna be rude. They're just gonna think they're God's gift to creation. And that goes for, for men and women alike. You love yourself already and confident with yourself and you go Greek. Those are the best Greeks because they be like, I don't need none of this. I didn't, I already had dudes before these letters, okay? I already had friends. I already had all of this, whatever. I'm just here to get the business done. So they get out of it and the organization gets out of it. You need to come out of your shell before you go Greek. You need to make sure you know that you do not need your letters to get the attention that you are going to get when you get your letters. You were already that, you were already that. All right, next reason. Kind of already went over this, but we're gonna go over it in a different way. You can't make friends. People who cannot make friends, who go Greek, are the people who go Greek and do not make connections with their organization and do not make connections with other organizations. If you can't make friends because you're rude, nasty, and mean, then you're gonna go Greek and you're gonna be rude, nasty, and mean to your soror or your fraternity brother and other people in your organization. And then other organizations are not gonna like you because you mean and rude, nasty to them. Or you can't make friends because you're very quiet and you're very shy. Like, who are you? When's your cause? What's this? What's your chapter? What's that? What's that? What's your information? You can't even give spit your information correctly because you're so shy and you're so quiet. Like. People who can make friends are people who are talkative, they can network, they have good personalities. You, you have to have a good personality if you can make friends because in order to make friends, there has to be something about you that attracts people to you. So if you make a lot of friends, then you're gonna shine in your organization. You're gonna network a lot in your organization, okay? Next reason, you are always busy. Now, this could be good, or this could be bad. It could be good because once you go Greek, you're doing something that is going to help the organization shine. You're staying busy, so you're staying productive and you're staying active and it's a good reflection on your organization. For me, I'm a flight attendant and a full-time flight attendant, so I'm gone a lot. I'm a finer woman no matter where I go. So even though I'm busy working and doing other things, I'm still a representation of my organization, so I'm still doing something for my organization. Does that make sense? So it could be a good thing in that as aspect, especially if you do something different from me, like an astronaut or something, you're trying to really do something that the world knows about, then you really put on for your organization. <laughs> y'all, Greeks do work a lot. And I know y'all can't really see it because from the outside looking in, all you see is the strolling and the partying and behind the scenes, there is a lot that goes on. There's events that you don't know about, the events that you do know about, the events that they do in the community that you don't know about, the trash pickups, the dorm pickups, and then the paperwork that has to be filed, the meetings, the, oh, the meeting. It's a lot, it's a lot. All right. Next reason why you should not go Greek. You want to keep your individuality. <sighs> this is a tough one. Okay, unless you're like me, and there's not a lot of Greeks like me, sorry. Greeks want to steal your individual persona. Greeks want to mold you and shape you into exactly how they want you to be. Be a Greek like me and keep yourself. Don't let them change you. 
to me really only Zetas are the ones who don't really have an image everyone else to me has an image you know so which is a reason why I chose Zeta because I didn't want an image I didn't want to be a certain way I wanted to be a certain way in the inside I didn't want to be a certain way on the outside I didn't want to always have to be pretty all the time I didn't always want to have to have a strong demeanor about me sometimes I want to cry sometimes I wanted to look a mess and it'd be okay like someone is gonna love you someone in your organization is gonna respect you for who you are and accept you for who you are and those are the people in your organizations who you need to make bonds with don't let people change you last reason why you should not go Greek you don't like fakeness let me not say if you don't like because nobody should like fakeness if you can't deal with fakeness don't go Greek because I'm telling you right now Greeks are some of the fakest people they put on a facade they put on an image they put on a gimmick because they have to they have images that they have to keep which is what we were going about when it comes to individuality they have a look they have a personality they have a certain gimmick that is attached to their organization that they have to keep up with so organizations are very gimmicky and it's it's really just a marketing scheme to get you to choose their organization over another organization but it has some intelligence in it. It's an intelligent marketing scheme. It, it makes sense. It has a purpose because it's about recruitment. There's no point in making an organization when you can't recruit anybody into that organization. So they've created these gimmicks and these personas and these facades to get people to join their organization. And you'll see that first of all you don't need me just because i'm greek you didn't need me to tell you that if you really pay attention to greek life you will see that for yourself i knew that before i even went greek i knew how the greek life was before i even went greek and i still decided to go greek why because there's other things and other benefits that you can get out of greek life yeah yeah of course but you have to be able to recognize that that certain factor does exist and you have to be okay you have to ask yourself can I deal with it so I can deal with people being fake do I like it no do I wish it would change yes is it gonna change probably not if you can't deal with it you will go crazy I've seen people go Greek and they're just like this is not what I expected this is they're miserable being Greek I know people who are Greek who are miserable being Greeks because you didn't see the reality of what Greek life was before you became Greek. Do your best to really know what it's like before you join. Because if you have a real good idea of what it's like before you join, then when you join, you'll be like, oh, I already knew that was about to happen. Oh, I already expected that. Oh, okay, yeah, this is what we talked about that other day in our head. Yeah, yeah, we already knew this was coming. You feel me? You prepare yourself for what's about to happen. So you just be like, all right, here we go. It's that time now to deal with that prepare yourself never lie if oh, i be telling people all the time always be real to yourself when you're real to yourself you can be real with others and that's why i'm so real with y'all all the time because i'm always real with myself i have nothing to hide i have nothing nobody can't tell me nothing that i don't already know about myself about me so subscribe comment whatever diss me love me do whatever you want to do but i'll see you guys in my next video bye